If you're playing the NBA 2K19 Prelude with the full game, just know that you are playing on Hall of Fame and the user sliders are on zero. So if you feel like you can't win, just know you ain't designed to win. I hope you guys are ready to enjoy this video. We're going up against the Flying Dragon. Let's get into it. Most exciting part of the G League this year. The NBA is not far away. Oh, hey, yeah, yo, yo. Check out what your boy said about your boy. Hey, hey, man, get that phone out of my face, man. No, wait, no, come on, you're going to hear about it anyway. I mean, it's everywhere. Look, Corey Harris ain't the only player in the NBA. Well, well, look, look, look. It's not just Corey Harris saying it. All of the Lakers are retweeting it. <laughs> The timing could not be better for me. I mean, I got scouts coming to the stands. They don't want to miss the show. This is like chess. So who's running space and who's head now, huh? Yo, 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 yo. I don't want to disrupt your flow there, Bobby Fisher, but the scout ain't here for you. He's here for the Flying Dragon. Please, I would have heard about it. He's the Heat's new forward from China, and he is knocking on the door of a 48-inch vertical. You're talking about Han Shi? Huh? Yeah, the Flying Dragon. Yeah. He was on the Jets in China. I... I guarded him when he played us in Shanghai. He showed me up then, but I know his game now. I can take him. No, no, no. The dragon is mine. See, this ain't about just showing off some scouts, Marcus. This is about winning the game, man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this dude, bro. Forget about it. He may be here to scout the dragon. Doesn't mean you can't take his attention. Take it. Yeah, but. I can't beat the dragon by myself. But your game plays specifically to his weakness. So I'm gonna set you up all night, and we're gonna take that dragon down together. All right. All right, guys, so today I'm going up against the Flying Dragon once again. Now, he is on the G League Heat team, so I'm trying to figure out, like, how does the translation stuff go? Because I remember when I was in China, I couldn't get a translator. I mean, they told me a couple words here and there, but for the most part, I was lost in the saw, so I wonder what Han Chi is going to be doing today. Now, we do put two points on the board first, and check this out, man. I just want to tell y'all how dominant this dude is for no reason. Now, I've kind of figured that it was going to be like this. You know, I made a statement, you know, earlier in this video that it seems like you're playing on Hall of Fame. Your sliders are on zero. I'm really not sure, you know, I was checking out a couple tweets on Twitter and Mike Wayne was telling us all about, you know, how you want to use protect the ball. Um, it's going to feel like the defense is, you know, in your pocket. And I'm like, is the game supposed to play like this? Because God, boy, if you thought since you played the 2K prelude, like the actual prelude and you was out here killing. Oh, no, 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 no. This game, the full game will smack your dumb behind back to reality. You hear me? So it's currently four to four. You know, I tussle a lot with Han Chi because I noticed that this is dudes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's get that replay real quick. You see, you see the. What are you, you going to do with that, fam? But I noticed that you know Han Chi, he's not much of a dribbler. So when I call for double teams, man, he definitely gets out of his element. Either he passes out of it, or we get hung up in uh, jump balls. Now I'm gonna tell you guys right now, we went the overtime in this game, and. I'm just going to say this once. If you're going up against Han Chi after watching this video and you want to win, call for the double team because he's selfish. You hear me? He's real selfish. Now, I get a green release layup right there. You know what I'm saying? They currently need a timeout because they don't know what to do with me. That's how good I am. They don't know what to do with me. They scared. But <laughs> I'm going to tell you all right now, man. Me and Han Chi, we went tick for tack. You understand me? Tick for tack. Now, I try to pull off a nice little... Uh, fadeaway jumper didn't work i'm not kobe i'm just gonna go ahead and put it like that but i do get them cookies and i am out on a break and they can't catch me as i get that dunk right there man you gotta watch out you gotta watch out below man me and my paul george 2k sneakers i don't care what y'all say man these are like the 2k shoes the generics all right i'm sick and tired of wearing these pgs man i wish i could wear something different pgs with no colors like ugh now Han gets another bucket. It's 22 to 20. And moving on, I love pulling jumpers, but Han Chi will not let me loose as I get that green release layup after getting my shot blocked. It's hard, man. You have to understand, playing up against a guy that got what they what they call it a 48 inch vertical. If he flies, we die. <laughs> what was the saying? If he flies, we lose or something like that back in China. But golly, I didn't know the man could shoot too. Shoot. 
Now, I call for the screen right here. And can I just say that the screens really don't work that much. Now, I'm not sure if it's the difficulty or I'm not sure it's the way 2K's new mechanics or, you know, the way that they made the game. But I'm telling y'all right now, man, people got, I mean, Hall of Fame. I'm not talking bronze. I'm not talking silver. I'm talking a Hall of Fame pick dodger. You understand me? Their pick dodger is on a million. But I pass it over to Tatum as he gets to the basket for the layup. I thought Han Chi was going to come over here and smack that thing in the next week. But we good. We good. Now, this was like one of my biggest leads. And I'm going to tell you all right now. Every time I get a lead, I make sure I double team Han. And look at that. Is that a technical foul? Did y'all see the way Han Chi just slammed that ball on the ground like that? That's frustration, baby. All you got to do is when you get here with him, call the double team. And Oh, my. Hold up. Hold up. You seen me call for the double team, right? But did you see him split the defenders before the double team came? He said, no, 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 no. Not this time, Jack. I'm going to the rim, and I'm killing one of your men down there. Now, they told me to get to the hole, but I decided to pull up at the foul line for the green release. That move, I can't lie, man. Shot creators might like that move, that little pump fake. It just drive through, step through, and pull up. I like that move a lot. Now, one thing that I can tell you guys about the pick and roll, if you do the pick and roll around like near half court, it works a little bit better, but it's a chance that you can go back court because if the defender is pushing on you, like on your hip, they won't call a blocking foul if you're near uh, the back court. Like they will not call a blocking foul at all. It's just going to be back court violation on you and you're going to have to suck that one up. Now, all I can say is right here, man, my team needed this little foul right here because Oh, man, it was getting close fast. Now, they sub me out. Pete, what happens when I come back? All of a sudden, we just magically down four. Don't you hate when you get subbed out and you just are magically down? It seems like that's been like the, the running theme for the entire prelude. Whenever you up, oh, you best believe you're going down. So, I have a question for everybody. What do you think about, you know, when the full game, like, you know get started with my career and everything like that oh yeah by the way i catch out leaves too but what do you guys think about when you know you start your my career and stuff like that and you're up 11 points in the third and you know when you get subbed out is it always going to be a, a reoccurring thing that you have to be down because i don't like that type of like stuff at all like usually when i know runs happen and, and when teams are you know getting on their runs you know most of the time like, say, for instance, if you were LeBron James and you were sitting on the bench and the other team started going on a run, you come back in immediately to stop all that shit. So I don't know why they allow teams to come back and take a 10-point lead on you before anybody realizes, hey, let's put the guy back in the game that was actually trying to clamp him and actually keeping him at a, at a, a small percentage, shot percentage and stuff like that. I don't know, man. I just don't like it, man. It's, it's always been the same thing. And, you know, we can't sit there and watch the entire game and then get asked to sub in because when you get asked to sub in, you can't choose when to come in the game. As soon as you hit X, it's over for you. But I told you guys, man, it's all about scrappy plays. The fourth quarter is almost over and they're up, but we still scrapping and we out. We got to get it going. We got to get two points. I see my man cutting and dead body. Let's go, Marcus Young. This is the only time I like you, my man. When you body that right there. Listen, I didn't even know he was like on some type slasher time. Like, <laughs> I didn't even know that was his type game. But we finally tied it up after being down four, coming back into the fourth. Oh, man. All I can say is, man, that seesaw, baby. I can't stand it. Now, this was the sequence that I was telling you guys about, right? So, we get a jump ball call. And, you know, time going down on the clock. And I call for another one. And yet again, this dude will not pass out of the double team. So we go after another jump ball. But this time, we go at midcourt. And I don't know how, guys. Don't ask me who made me do it. But my bunnies came alive right there as I got that jump ball. And right here, man, I tried to go in. But it looked like somebody reached. But it made me throw the ball out of bounds. And it was out of bounds on me. That was one of the worst type of animation calls slash whatever you want to call it. I didn't like it. So that's another thing on my list for 2K. Please, you got to fix that because that ain't right, man. 
if somebody go ahead and reach around your back, either that's supposed to be a foul call or that's supposed to be them hitting the ball and it's going out on them. That should not be going out on you because of the animation triggered at all. Now, did you guys see him kick me in my chin after that block? Now, check this out, man. We get the tip. I come down. I was like, yeah, I don't want to go to my little circle. I'm just going to cut to the basket and tell Han Chi who the real slash is out here in these streets. Now, I think Han Chi is a pure slasher. I don't know if he's a slashing shot creator. He might be. You never know. But it's currently 58-58. More jump balls. I'm not playing. I'm telling you, this is the only way to win if you are if you have like that Hall of Fame feel where it feel like the, the game going to make you lose. So, you know, I get to the basket for the layup. Getting more fans. What, 144 of them. Um, I've had 20 points for a little while now. I've been putting on that work, you know what I'm saying? But Han Chi, boy, split the defenders. Booyah! I don't know how he does it. I don't know. I can't stop it. Somebody help me, please. What in the world is going on? But he get the screen right here. And Tatum pulls up for the midi. Don't know why he did it. Kicks it out to me. Let me get that two-pointer. Baby, let's go. Let me get some more fans. And you know what it is. It's takeover time. That's right. Um, my, my takeover ran out. And, uh, yeah, huh, she just did that to me. Um, Yeah, so the, the whole takeover sequence, it didn't go too well for me, man. It didn't go too well, man. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out. Now, it's 40 seconds left for tied up. And they hit me for the three. Green bean. You understand me? Hold up. Trophy earned. Green light. Hold up. Green light. What y'all know about that trophy right there, man? Hey, man, sometimes I like seeing my trophies pop up on screen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I force it a lot. I don't know. Now, 65 to 64. Trying to hold out. Trying to make sure Han Chi doesn't get this win. I get to the basket for the green release. All shoulder. All power. Han Chi, what up? What up with that mohawk, baby? I see you, baby. Now, this dude shows no emotion. It pisses me off. So, you know, we got Marcus Young at the line, man. I just do not like the way Han Chi play. He barely smile. He barely shout. He's a scary individual. But it's 10 seconds left, man. Clearly, we got this W. Clearly. Ain't nothing they can do. It's about to be on and popping, man. I'm going to go holla at my chick or whatever. What's her name? Nikki. Um, I'm not going to show you guys too many cutscenes. I mean, you guys, if you're playing a prelude, you've probably watched these cutscenes a million times. Or if you've watched other channels, you've probably watched a million cutscenes. So, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, one thing I do want to let you guys know, make sure you guys like the video if you haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe. Look at Han Chi going back to the locker room. Oh, Han. Oh, Han. You all right, Han? And look at me celebrating. Look at me. Packing it on. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.